Hey guys, Dan here from VHix411. Today in front of me I have a BMW FEM VDC module. Uh, it's front electronic module or body dom domain controller. They have these on the F series BMWs from F20 all the way to F83. I will show you how the clone process is done. This guy went bad. As you can see, I already took it apart and you can see somebody already tried to solder whatever it is they did so they bought another one and the car does not start so in this case the key information is in here the miles are in it also so what we're going to do is take information from this guy put it in this guy it's a simple clone service that we offer it does have two eproms one here one here so we're gonna get the information from one of them and clone it to another one. Um, it's 95128 chip on one of them and 95256 on the other one. So we're gonna do it with the car probe. It's a simple, nothing special. There's options you can do with hex tool and other tools, but we're just gonna do a car probe. So I'll read the EEPROM. Connect my EEPROM reader, open up my car probe, set it up to 95128 chip, and then I'll try to read it. All right, so we read the file. I will save it and then I'll save it. FEM original. Original, and this is a 95128 EPROM. Save that. And I will set up my other EPROM. Change it over to a 256 EEPROM. Now this body control module, it is for all the exterior lighting, interior, such as power windows, stuff like that. All right, so I'll read the VIN number. If you can see, it's right here. So the VIN number and all the information from the car is coming out. And of course, the coding information, options of the car, everything's being saved from the original one. <clears throat> so verified, it's a good read. I'll save it as FEM original. Now it's just 256 now let me swap over to my good unit make sure it's all good read over here so. now I cleaned these already because obviously they're sealed with silicone and I took it apart just so we can save some time not showing you how to remove it from a package if you don't know how to do that, then you shouldn't be doing it, messing with it. All right, so reading the 256 on an original, I mean, on a new FEM module. All right, so we read that. As you can see, it's a good read. We got the VIN number, everything out of it. It's gonna verify, make sure it is a good read. We're not miss missing any bytes.
All right, I will save this as a new. We always like to save old and new file. Now I'll pull up my FEM, and then I got the original 256 read right here, FEM original, open it up, and I'll just push write. Now we'll write the original FEM BDC file that we read earlier from the other ECU, or other FEM module, and we're gonna write it right now into this good donor FEM module. <clears throat> now if you need the service done you can actually go to Carmen with a K CarmenAuto.com otherwise if you have a programmer that reads EEPROMs you can actually read it save it and write it um, other options you can read it with hex tool and Nabritas but those are usually if you can't there's no way to get the information out of the existing original FEM module BDC module then you kind of have to virginize this new or actually a used unit make it new and then you're able to clone the key information and the VIN number and of course the miles they store all that suggestion if you buy another one don't plug it in right away in the car because it can change the miles in your car it will go up it won't go down so obviously just make sure and then you will have to once you're done once you connect it to the car and miles went up you kind of have to then program the cluster and the program in the cluster there's no way to lower the miles unless you replace a new EEPROM so just a suggestion if you're doing it do a clone service right away or make sure it's a virgin then stick it in the car and program it in the car one more thing these FEM modules fail a lot as you've seen earlier I showed you it just burns out the tracks on the motherboard and then some windows won't work or lighting outside won't work. Very common issue on these. Well, while it's writing. <clears throat> now it takes a little bit longer to write the file. have the time you can actually give us a if you like this video so far like this if the information was useful like it and share it give us a thumbs up
All right, verified it's a good right. We are going to read the 95128 from. So set it up over here. Make sure I have a good connection here. And then I'll change my car probe to 128 EEPROM, read and verify. And let's read this file. Okay, so it's a good read, we have good contact. Otherwise, if it's a bunch of zeros or Fs, clean up the board, clean up the EEPROM area. All right. Good read. We'll save it as FEM new. I'll just save it as 128. Now we'll write the 128, so we'll just go FEM original 128. So we will write this file now. All right. It was successfully written to the new EEPROM or the new FEM module. So both of the EEPROMs were written with the original file. So now this guy, this new ECU or new FEM module, BDC module, whichever way you want to call it, is identical with this kid. So the car won't know the difference between them other than, of course, one of them will not work because it's been Mickey Mouse with. If you liked what you've seen or you need the service done, I'll post the link at the bottom or at the end of the video. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.